Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and my gift to you today is this guided meditation for the deepest cord, barnacle and hook cutting ever. Also for my followers on YouTube to facilitate faster transformations and more output of guided meditations uh, I felt guided to revert to this more barebone format at the time you know uh, so uh, do not get out more material help more less entanglement more streamlined uh, also I'm available for one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions just send me an email and I will get back to you so before we start this guided meditation I want to point out some principles that I found will support the success of any guided meditation. First of all, sit in a comfortable office chair and uh, maybe a car chair is also generally very comfortable but do not drive, you know, and balance your body so that everything stacks up nicely. It is very difficult to enjoy bliss when your back hurts or when you are slumping. Uh, use earbuds or headphones to cancel out outside distraction, you know, plus the whole voice transmission is more potent. Uh, and of, for sure do not drive or operate heavy machinery, especially if you are listening to this podcast in your car I mean do not drive you know you're going to be so spaced out you know very high chances you, you know very very dangerous mm -hmm. and uh, yeah smile like an idiot and reside in your heart uh, smiling will raise your vibration and help you to higher uh, dimensions to access higher dimensions and uh, intent works best at highest vibration and deepest relaxation too. So you want to have an energized brain and energy system so to achieve this you want to breathe at a pace so that you can hear the air flowing through your nostril. Something like this. Also all the way in and all the way out. You do not have to repeat any affirmations. Just think or say Amen or not your head when you say Amen, but uh, mean it. Uh, be in a childlike state of innocence during the guided meditation. Reside in your heart, not in your head. Pay attention to what pops into your mind, but do not judge or try to rationalize at that moment. Like, oh, I just made that up. I mean, you can always do that at the end of the meditation. And next, use the K button on your keyboard um, to pause and play the guided meditation to spend more time to get an answer or explore a situation in greater detail, for instance. You know, some of you may use a pendulum and, um, you know, then you can explore deeper. Uh, and for some of you, you may have a greater benefit just to follow, you know, along with the induction but then keep your eyes open and use a pendulum to investigate further and you may watch my rather old video on how to use a pendulum invocation. So please close your eyes and let us connect to Source, Absolute Source, nobody higher than our Absolute Original Being. We connect this one so God is all around us, so we rest in God. And we connect to our highest self, our 
our spirit guides all the way up to source, to Milky Way galaxy, and to our inner child and Mother Earth and the elements and all the beings that still love us unconditionally now. Amen. And I thank you all for coming and I ask that everything that happens in and from the session is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. That there's not going to be any deception, that we're completely safe in every way throughout all our existence. Amen, amen, amen. And of course, that again, that everything that happens and comes from this session is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, 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 amen. And now, smile like an idiot and imagine that you shapeshift your legs and your spine into the earth like a root, like a taproot, very large and strong. And expand that taproot into smaller and smaller side roots till they come all the way down to capillary style. And now imagine that you draw or let the love of Mother Earth rise through those roots into yourself, into your heart, through those legs. On the inhale and on your exhale you send your energy through those roots like straws back into Mother Earth. And on the inhale again you allow her love to rise in you, all the way to the heart, let it flush through your body, and then on the exhale, still smiling even sweeter, you send your love all the way down, and don't be piddly with your breath will, now be very strong. And now on the inhale you keep drawing her love into your heart, but then on the exhale you send that love into your brain. And to activate your brain, just send a lot of loving chi into your brain so it can function at this peak performance. Smile, put the tongue at the palate to have a better bridge to your brain. and pump Mother Earth's love into your brain. And we asked our highest spirit guides to remove from us the burdens we picked up from the environment, mass consciousness other people, family members, colleagues at work, maybe out of compassion, maybe just by osmosis. There is no reason to keep this with us. So please just lift this off us now. Amen, amen, amen. Now on the exhale, start breathing out the top of the head, all the way up to the ceiling, like in a rotating funnel clockwise. And imagine the Milky Way galaxy 
this beautiful huge wheel is kind of there where the ceiling is. You know, it's a representation, it's symbolic. But just innocently connect, reach out with your crown, with your higher energy centers to this being and smile. Keep on breathing. And while you're connecting with Milky Way Galaxy Consciousness, we asked our highest spirit guides to remove from us any backstabbing energy from this and past lifetime, you know, gossip, jealousy, envy. Please do so now. Aim, aim, aim. And now with your breath, do you focus on the inhale from allowing that love coming in from Milky Way Galaxy into your heart and into your being. And on the exhale you send your love out as a gesture of goodwill. Love. And so keep breathing back and forth this love between Milky Way Galaxy and all those beings there that love you unconditionally to so now. Amen. Now you focus on drawing in this love from the heavens into your heart. And on the exhale, you just expand that love in your heart. Start doing so now. Keep doing it. Send it to the front, to the back, to the sides. Wherever it feels tight, just send that heavenly love there. And we asked our higher spiritual guides and the angels, of course, to please remove from us any heartbreak energy and any vows we did in past lifetime and even in this lifetime to not love anymore. Please do so now. Amen. Amen. And keep on smiling and, you know, feel this release. And how the frequencies just become finer and finer. And just keep pulling that love from heaven into your heart. But now, also add Mother Earth with this. So on that inhale to just Pull in that love from Mother Earth and the heavens simultaneously into your heart. And now on the exhale, expand it in your heart. Exhale through your heart, not through your mouth. Of course, in reality, you exhale and inhale through your nose, but in imagination, you inhale and exhale, you know. You inhale through your chakras and exhale through the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. And now we ask the love of the cosmos, of the Creator, to spill down over us over and through us, through our head, shoulders, our heart, through the arms, hands, fingers, also our legs, feet, deep into the earth. And these 
vase of love and chi that we allow now. They cleanse all our bodies. All our bodies. And of course we asked Source and Archangel Michael and everybody else that is qualified for those tasks, like Lord Shiva for those of the Hindu tradition or Parvati for the ladies of the Hindu tradition to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Reptilian, Grey, Magicians, Humans, all other predatory courts and devices and any other technology from every level of our being any incarnation, any time, timeline, the old dimensions or sub-dimensions or parallel dimensions, now, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, 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 amen. And keep on breathing and smile. Have your palms raised facing up for receiving to the divine and smile and breathe and observe the flow of energy, the tingling, the lightness. Just keep on breathing deeply. Stay focused in your heart as much as you can and smile like an idiot. You are surrounded by greatness. So smile like an idiot. And allow that rose or lotus in your heart to bloom. And now we connect with Milky Way Galaxy through a huge laser that is as wide as our head, which also connects to the core of the Earth. And we have this liquid light pouring down connecting Earth and Milky Way galaxy flow through us and of course our high self adjusts to the levels that are just beneficial for us, you know, optimal for us in the um, ah zone, yes. Mm -hmm. So we allow this to dissolve any blobs and blocks or resistances of darkness in our spinal area. Uh -huh. Also the ascending and descending center meridians we like to have cleared and all the other meridians in our energy system and the nadi systems too. Please do so spirit guides. Amen. And we asked for this golden pyramid to be erected over us as a protection that only good can come to us, only high vibration can come to us, that we're completely safe and energized and updated to whatever is the best for us every moment. And this pyramid also envelops us with liquid light, like gold, which starts dissolving blocks and blobs of darkness. We let it to enter our heart, to dissolve any pain or darkness that we can detect. And we smile like an idiot. That is our dial for love, to be open for love. And now we ask your spirit guides to show you what a yes answer feels like. You know, and we ask actually that your yes would be an upflow of energy from your heart. So we ask for that now. Amen. And 
you may have felt something, an upflow of energy from the heart, and ask that you will be given another yes. Amen. And now we ask that we will be giving a no, which would be a energy flow from the heart downwards into your body. So please give us a now, now, amen. And give us another no, now, amen. And now, dear source of all, Archangel Michael and other divine sovereign beings from the different tradition. You know, they're probably the same beings that are called with different names. I am a sovereign, divine, eternal being that is residing in the human body at this time. And I command in the name of the Absolute Source to permanently clear and detoxify any predatory cords, barnacles, and hooks that connect me with other beings. With the hooks, please dissolve any barbs and other booby traps and the poisons before removing the hooks to prevent damage. Please now clear, ascend also any cords, barnacles, hooks, soul fragments, ghosts, seeds, eggs, spores, of service to self-entities caused by rape and any sexual callings in the sacred area from this now. Amen. And also, you know, do this, you know, where I did this to others, you know, so we like to have this always done both ways through the incarnations from now on. Amen. And we also asked for clearing of sexual cords with ex-partners from this and past lifetimes. Now, amen, 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 amen. And also while this is going on, any residuals, you know, of the above mentioned due to sexual rituals. Now, aim, 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 aim. And while this is going on, also any residuals, as mentioned above, from magic weapons and their poisons and cords and barbs and hooks, etc. Amen, 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 amen. And also, while this is going on, please, please, please clear any cheating contracts that I have made and that others made with me. You know, either way, where there was cheating and dishonesty going on, Please clear all those. Amen, 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 amen. And also please, you know, clear any of the above, you know, the residues, you know, of torture, especially entities that are still stuck programmed through torture. Either way, where I was the torturer or others where the torturers clear this all. And also the back and forth cursing, of course, coming from this and the karmas. Amen, 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 amen. And please, also while this is going on, clear any of the above and more from negative sacrifices, you know, and other incidents similar to this, like many of the battles were sacrifices, you know, including implants that allow service to self beings to manipulate us 
through cordings, triggers, barnacles, hooks or any other control techniques like the Achilles Teal programming. Please clear this right now. Amen, 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 Amen. Also any Pinocchio or Geppetto programming, you know, where uh, you are being puppeteered like a Manchurian candidate, for instance, you know, trigger words and other technologies of programming people, taking people over. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Please also, you know, clear, you know, any negative influences, and of course, um, from a DNA backdoor and portals, you know, for sabotage. You know, this would be part of an Achilles heel programming. Yeah things in the DNA that allow other beings to just switch us off and control us and uh, this is not Frenchman on free will, we're sovereign beings and we surely like to have this removed by source or delegates in, 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 in. and we also like to have any high self disconnection manipulations and programs on a DNA level eradicated and our DNA you know upgraded you know to a level where we can easily connect with our high self and our higher dimensional subpersonalities and spirit guides and get divine guidance again and clear divine visions again. Amen, 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 amen. And now we ask and grant forgiveness throughout our lifetimes. Now for all parties involved. Otherwise there's going to be more entanglement. So again, you know, we ask for forgiveness where we offended others and we grant forgiveness where we got offended. Amen, amen, amen. And now we also ask for karma clearing for all parties involved. And don't think that you were only the good guy. Don't think so. So we ask for karma clearing for all parties involved now. Amen, 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 amen. And keep on breathing. Stay in your heart, smile, keep on smiling. It's probably very intense for you, yeah, this is the real thing. So the more you're sincere, the more you will clear. And again, we ask that this automatically will integrate, you know, at the pace that is decided by your high self, by your benevolent high self aspects that are completely connected with source. Amen, 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 amen. And now let's get a little deeper into contracts breaking. And now we ask for a breaking of any binding contracts because most likely we got tricked into them or the contracts were done in the dream state, which is of course trickery, and where we were not informed about the long-term consequences, you know, throughout incarnations. I mean, some of those contracts last for eons, thousands and thousands of years. And with so many contracts, also blackmail was used. So we like to have those cancelled and clear too. And of course torture was used too, right? So many times, you know, confessions and contacts were signed under torture. So all these we like to point out to the highest divine justice and like to have them cleared. Or whenever, whenever any other form of trickery or coercion was used, 
you know. Many of us as innocent humans were like babies and we could be cheated quite easily being very naive. So many times, for instance, psychic gifts or achievements were promised that were in actuality not delivered. You know, this happened a lot in Egypt, in Babylon, or some in Atlantis do. A lot of hijacking was there, done of good people. So we like to have all these, you know, hijacking, uh, these deals, you know, where gifts were promised. Uh, we like to have those cancelled, you know, either way, where we were promised or where we promised other. We just like to have them cleared. Amen. And we also ask that these contracts be cleared on the level of what are considered the ancient ones or the creator beings. These are the ones that, you know, create galaxies, those kind of beings. Mm -hmm. And there are also contracts on that level. And if they're based on cheating, I would like to have them cleared. This absolute source, you know, will be the arbitrator of what is right and wrong. Amen, amen, amen. So, there are, of course, many that consider themselves creator beings, and not all of them had our highest interest in mind. And so, those contracts with those beings we like to have broken, because uh, many of them resulted in piracy, in vampirism, and, uh, you know, bondage to them throughout time and dimensions. And so we break any negative contracts with the Anunnaki, also with the Alfred Arconians, and also with the Reptilians, and also with the insectoid races, and also with the Greys, and especially the ones that our governments made for us, we are sovereign beings and they have no right to do contracts for us. And of course, also any contracts to other harvesting predatory beings that we are not mentioned, but that are negatively affect humanity. Source will decide, or the highest, the highest beings will decide. Amen, 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 amen. And of course, also any contracts with magicians and human, you know, humans too. Many times there was debt, there were promises made, good willing that could not be kept. So also those. And of course, you know, the those promises and contracts that were done with military, you know, with my lab, you know, military especially also in past lifetimes. You know, secret brotherhoods also included into this. You know, very serious blood oaths were sworn. You know, where we, you know, give our power away to the command structure, very serious oaths. And so, you know, these do not apply to this incarnation anymore. Most likely they interfere with this incarnation. So a higher self can decide which ones still are, you know, appropriate for the highest good of this incarnation, you know, for the Dharma in Hindu terms. But all the other ones we like to have cleared now. Amen, 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 amen. And again, I cancel any contracts from this incarnation and all incarnations across space and time. All incarnations, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the world. And I understand that I might have done similar things in past and parallel incarnations, and if that is the cause, I ask that any predatory cords and hooks 
from my sides two others are also cleared. We now ask and grant forgiveness throughout all lifetimes, which is very important. And we now ask for karma clearing for all parties involved. Now, Amen, 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 Amen. Then keep on smiling and breathing and be connected, stay connected with heaven and earth. Bring the love into your heart and expand it in your heart. Just stay connected to heaven and earth and nourish their love. Nourish their love. They want you to be loved. They love you. They are a much better person when you have love, believe us. And now, while this may still go on, what we are requesting, a clearing of the courts of Barnacle, and hooks for the people that we victimized in past incarnations and the cords and barnacles and hooks where we got victimized. Amen. And we ask that this clearing goes through all creation for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And we ask that cords and hooks through which bad karma is dumped and good karma is stolen be cleared. Especially bad karma that is programmed to follow people around throughout their lifetimes and also affects their descendants and DNA. Please clear this now. Hey. Also please clear any dumping into their subpersonalities through cords, barnacles and hooks. Any dumping either side be cleared. Hey. And also clear any stealing of talents, resources through cords and hooks throughout and also please clear the stealing of sexual energy and beauty through cords and hooks either way now throughout our creation Amen Keep breathing and stay centered in your heart and pull in that love from heaven and earth. They allow you to be transmuted into a more divine being. That's, they love you, they love you, they love you. And now we ask for clearing of any stealing of manifestation skill through, you know, cords, hooks, Barnacles, whatever means. Amen. And now we like to have a clearing of where people were used like zombies, like shields for our actions, you know, control through cords and hooks and other rituals. You know, where we were used, or where we used others, please clear that now on all levels. Amen. And also again, please clear any residual cords, hooks, barnacles from ritual sexual abuse through black magic. Either way, amen. And while this is going on, 
please also clear any cording barnacles and hooks through implants, hair, blood and other representation that are used in voodoo dolls and other types of magic like this throughout creation now. Amen. And smile and keep breathing love from heaven and earth into your heart so as you be nourished. This is quite intense. Smile like an idiot. Deep breathing. Stay conscious. Some of you may pass out, which is okay, but you know, it is better when you stay conscious and keep breathing, you know, more intent. Mm -hmm. But even if you're going to pass out, give your high self permission to imply the intent that it aligns with you through this meditation. Huh? Amen. And now we release any cords that come through wounds, you know, throughout creation, either way. Amen. And while this is going on, and some of you may have uh, quite some pains and aches popping up probably, we also ask for a clearing of the cords and other connections that come through molestation throughout our creation, either way. A And while this is going on, and this may take a while, we asked for a clearing of the cords that come from entity attachments, or implants, or ritual pairing with an entity. This was done for soldiers, for gladiators, and other, you know, elite people, and of course, you know, magicians have been paired with demons, etc. Uh, so all these pairments with other beings we like to have cleared and broken and, you know, those entities brought home to where they came from. Just brought home to where they came from and any bindings on them we like to have cleared, but of course they have to go home to where they came from. We're not going to release monsters here in the dimensions where they're not supposed to be. Amen, amen, amen. Keep breathing and smiling and pumping love. Mm -hmm. And again we ask for a clearing of all the cords from magic weapons, especially the reptilians and the Alpha Draconian used weapons that would cord you throughout time. Of course the uh, magicians and some others, plus the magic weapons would cut your force field and, you know, keep that disconnected, destroyed. So, and we did this to others. Of course, we like to have this all cleared all the way around. Please, aim and aim and aim and aim. Smile. Keep on breathing. Now you love. Keep on smiling and breathing. Stay conscious, stay conscious. Maybe keep your heart at the palate, or uh, your tongue at the palate, and stay centered in your heart. And, of course, in so many lifetimes, we were part of wars, sometimes as innocent bystanders or being caught in crossfire, swept away. And sometimes we were instigators and in powerful positions. And in war there were always spells and curses, war spells to weaken, even done with blood, of course. And there were also uh, individual you know, spells and curses, you know, of revenge, you know, of torture, etc. So, and of course also onto lands and cities, not just people on families, sometimes populations 
So VP most likely did a lot of damage to others and most likely a lot of damage was done to us and so we like to have these all cleared. Amen, 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 amen. Throughout creations we are so sorry, we are so sorry. We ask for forgiveness and we give forgiveness. Amen, amen, amen. And this can go on for a long time. And you might want to press the K button and continue when you have no more sensation of inner integration. But now, while this is going on, we ask that any alcons and barnacle attachments and their seeds, eggs and spores, you know, and also from other, you know, egg seed spores, uh, from other, you know, negative devices like nano, you know, please be cleared, you know, from our being, from every level of our being throughout all incarnations, you know, especially the ones, in particular the ones that are there to control us against our highest good. Amen, 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 amen. And now we also ask for a clearing of any devices or methods not mentioned here, but that our high self knows are harmful and illegal and against free will and against, you know, our enemies and ourselves. Amen, 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 amen. And again, while this is going on, we now ask and grant forgiveness throughout all lifetimes. Amen. And again, we now ask for karma clearing for all parties involved throughout our creation. Amen. And now we will do another deeper scan even, going through particular areas of your being in this incarnation. And um, <coughs> so it's called this the deep scan. And this is about the area which is below your feet, your force field you know, extends, of course, also below your feet into the earth, like it connects with the earth star. So there's a lot of, you know, uh, subtle technology there <laughs> um, that connects us with the earth realm. And, of course, this has been affected in many incarnations, you know, through trauma and other things. Let's say, call it darkness. So, um, let us just um, ask that anything, any darkness, you know, uh, any wounds, this is for the area below our feet, you know, all the way to the core of Mother Earth. So we ask that any wounds that affect us from there, or any weapons that affect us from there, or any shackles or magic implants, or any vows and spells or high-tech implants or cords and hooks or archons or barnacles or ghost attachment or any other type of entity attachment or the seeds, eggs and spores or anything else that is important but mentioned yet. You know, we like to have those cleared now, right now, throughout all creation for us. And of course, for we put this on others too. Now, amen, 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 amen. And smile and, you know, breathe and love into the legs. 
Mm -hmm. Feel the energy coming back into your legs. You know, there's probably a lot of tingling. And for some of you, there's a big upflow of energy up your spine. Maybe, you know, Kundalini, you know, Kundalini rising. You just sway around. You know, let your spine adjust, let your neck adjust to accommodate. You know, this increased flow of energy. And smile and let it, you know, ultimately push it out the top of the head. You know, direct the Kundalini with your breath. You know, try to keep it as much confined to the spine as possible. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, and now you let us remember we had the yes, you know, is the upflow of energy from the heart and the no is the downflow of energy from the heart. So let us ask your own divine guidance. Do you have, you know, in the area of your legs, you know, trauma that is still affecting you from this and past life wounds, yes or no? whether you have in your legs any trauma, etc. You know, uh, cords, you know, <laughs> from uh, weapons, yes or no. Past in this lifetime, of course. And now ask whether your legs are affected with something that could be considered shackles, you know, that keep you bound like a slave or prisoners around your legs, yes or no? And now ask whether you have in your legs any magic implants, you know, like rings, rods, plates, glass, spikes, you know, there are a lot of things like this, yes or no. And now asked whether your legs are affected by curses or vows from this and past lifetimes, yes or no. Are you affected in your legs by spells, yes or no? Are your legs affected by negative high-tech implants that are sabotaging your energies, yes or no? Are your legs affected by cords, yes or no? Are your legs affected by hooks? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by alcorns? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by barnacles? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by ghost attachments, yes or no? Are your legs by any other type of anti attachments, you know, or the seeds, eggs or spores, yes or no? And is there anything else important that was not mentioned, yes or no? And of course now we like to have of this before mentioned cleared by Source and our highest spirit guides, you know, the expert angels, ETs, 
etc. Amen, 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 amen. Throughout creation, you know, where we dished it out, where, where we were at the receiving end of these traumata. Amen, amen. And now, while this is probably still going on on many levels, we will focus on the area of the root, you know, the Muladhara chakra, and then all the way, of course, up the spine. And um, let us just, you know, ask for a clearing of all those, you know, specific aspects, you know, right off, you know, to save time. So, dear highest spirit guides, please, you know, clear any sexual cordings in the root chakras from ex-partners from this and past lifetimes now. Amen, 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 amen. And also, please, clear all wounds you know, throughout all time periods, you know, maybe from initiations, also from rape, also from ghosts. Please do so now. Amen. And then also, please clear any physical wounds, you know, from stabbing through spears, arrows, knives swords, etc., you know, any type of weapons, now, amen, either way, you know, enemies as well as us. And there are probably all kinds of shackles, you know, like chastity belts, you know, magical chastity belts, we like to have those cleared throughout our creations. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, of course, anything like rings, rods, glass, plates, spikes, other types of shackles, cast molds, everything clear. Please, aim, 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 aim. And while this is all going on, also please clear any curses and vows and spells. Um, you know, that we did in many incarnations, you know, blocking our root chakra because we thought the physicality is bad, connects us to the animal instincts, you know, it is Maya, and the physicality is something to get away from, to go to spirit, so we like to have this cleared throughout our creation, name and name and name. And again, you know, please now let's go faster. Any high tech implants, cords, hooks, archons, barnacles, ghost attachments, and any other type of NT attachments, you know, including their seeds, eggs, and spores. Do so now, amen. And of course, anything else? You know, that is important and not mentioned. Amen. And let's call this, you know, what we have mentioned before, all this different aspect, let's call this the spiritual sabotage package. So this is like an app, you know, like a spiritual app. Mm -hmm. And so now we ask, you know, Creator and our, you know, highest spirit guides to please clear you know, um, the sabotage package from our uh, sacral area completely. This is the second chakra. Mm -hmm. And smile and keep breathing. Keep breathing. You know, send heaven's love into the sacral chakra, front to back, wherever it's tied. If you're female, definitely smile into your ovaries. Maybe even have your hands over, cupped over them. 
Deep breathing. Take as much love from heaven and earth as that you want. You know, they love you to get healed. Don't be shy. Deep breathing. Smile like an alien. Mm -hmm. And while this is going on, we also like to have the spiritual sabotage package cleared from our solar plexus now. Amen, 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 amen. And just imagine you breathing yourself a beautiful golden sun in your solar plexus. Ah, yeah, beautiful golden sun. Amen. <laughs> and now we asked our highest self and our source and spirit guides to clear the spiritual sabotage packages from our heart and of course wherever we did this to others to clear this to in 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 Smile like an alien and again, you know, breathe deeply. The deeper you breathe, the more you smile. The more sincere you are, you know, the more appreciative you are. The faster it works, the more stronger it works. And there might be still some clearing going on and we ask them to continue to finish. But in the meantime, we also like to have any spiritual sabotage packages, you know, cleared from our throats. Amen, 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 amen. And while this is going on, we also like to have now any spiritual sabotage packages removed from the third eye, the pineal gland, also the pituitary gland, and any other brain parts through which we can be manipulated, like our you know, rewards center. Yeah, with reward center, you know, I mean amygdala, you know, so many things can be triggered through the amygdala. Very easy to manipulate, especially also any electronic manipulation. Uh, whether it's just an entrancement of certain moods that are negative, as well as uh, what is called synthetic telepathy, you know, those effects we like to have cleared and reported as illegal manipulation, you know, an infringement on our sovereignty and free will. Amen, 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 amen. Uh -huh. And while this is going on, of course, we like to have any spiritual sabotage packages removed from our crown chakra. You know, the halo around the head, as well as the higher dimensional chakras, there's many, you know, going through all the dimensions, you know, connecting us to creation all the way up to source. So any sabotage on this, you know, especially, you know, electronic sabotage, thought from sabotage, DNA sabotage, we like to have removed right now. Amen, amen. Then now everybody just agree. 
I, you know, as I go along, just nod your head as much as you can, you know. This is good stuff. So, I cancel any and all vows and contracts I have taken, any one in this body has taken, and anyone within my genetic lineage has taken, allowing these before mentioned issues. I now declare these vows and contracts null and void in this incarnations and all incarnations across space and time. All parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all solar systems, all dimensions and the worlds, and the void, and the void, and the void. So we want to have all this negative vows and contracts cleared, right? Also, please, Spirit, release all structures, devices, entities, orientations, or effects associated with these vows and contracts. We ask and grant forgiveness throughout all lifetimes now. We ask for karma clearing for all parties involved now. Amen, amen, amen. And now let's ask for some protection while this is still going on. This is, could be quite a long clearing. So we ask source, absolute source, you know, the God with the big G, to please surround us, you know, and whoever else you want protection for, like there could be cats, your house, your vehicle, your property, we ask to be put into a bubble or pyramid of protection. And please only allow good spirit beings and energy in and keep me safe from any and all harm. Only good can come to me and as I will, so shall it be. Thank you, God. Amen. And smile and be grateful. Stay in your heart. And we ask the spirit guides to please remove any energies and entities that are still there that should be sent home. Please send them home to where they came from. And please also to close any portals that should be closed. Do so now. Amen. And we ask that also all your subtle bodies be aligned again, brought into harmony throughout the dimensions and that your energies be recharged where their holds in your aura that they be filled with healing love that your genetic code be updated and purified that your divine blueprint be cleared and uplifted and purified to what is the best for you right now you know even beyond what was planned for you before and you know even improve on that if possible Please do so now, Amen. And I will call to three, and then you will be back in vacant day consciousness. One, you become aware of your room. And two, you slip back into your body, into your toes, into your heels into your fingers, your shoulders, your spine. And three, you're back to wake into consciousness, open your eyes. So, hello back my friends. So as a result of the garden meditation, you probably feel lighter right now, as if a heavy burden has been lifted off your shoulder there. There'll also be more peace, and uh, as if emotional gray noise has been turned off and no more constant emotional agitation or tension is there. Yeah, also probably more of your national smile will come back when you look into your mirror. And, uh, you know, probably there will be also a very positive transformation in your countenance. I mean, you'll be more beautiful without the makeup. And, you know, 
I understand this is the shotgun meditation uh, that will not ascend all stuck soul fragments, ghosts and traumas. You know, many times you have to look at details and, uh, you know, this is where I come in. I do one-on-one -on, -one on Skype, a very effective, very potent, uh, my prices are very reasonable, so just shoot me an email and I get in contact with you. And uh, well, I'll drink a lot of water today, and you know, after the meditation, at least a quart, probably two quarts if you can. And uh, take it easy, you know, take it easy, take a bath, be in nature, you know, don't go and uh, watch any horror or action movies now. And, uh, you know, do the other meditations, subscribe, send love, share your experiences, share with your tribe. I love you. Namaste.